All right, good morning, everybody. We got kind of a different little unique job today, if that's possible. But uh, there's a house down the road here and their well failed. They have no water. So we're going to install an 1800 gallon cistern. For you guys that don't know what a cistern is, it's basically a big tank that holds water. So let's, uh, let's go get started. All right, guys, we just rolled in down here. Here's a kind of a quick little overview of what we got going on. I don't know if you can see it right down there, but that's the well. It uh, quit working, it dried up. That's an old cistern we found that used to be an old house sitting over here. And it's actually in pretty decent shape. We were talking about possibly reusing it, uh, but decided against it. It's uh, pretty deep, pretty dirty. Uh, by the time we relined it, it's gonna be about as cheap to put a new one in, so. There's the house up here. So basically what we're gonna do is, is right here where the track hose at, we're gonna dig a hole and put an 1800 gallon cistern in. Uh, let me get this machine fired up and I'll uh, kind of give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a rundown of uh, what all that's about. Gosh, dang, I gotta get this thing cleaned out. I'm embarrassed. This thing don't have air conditioning. So in the summertime, it gets a little dirty in here. There's no excuse for it. I'll get it cleaned up, I promise. But hopefully she still starts. Oh yeah, burning like a kitty cat, even though it's a John Deere. All right guys, here's kind of the gist of the project. We have got to dig a hole that is basically 11, um, trying to think here. It's gotta be 11 feet long, six feet wide, and 90 inches deep. Now, we're not gonna go the full 90 inches deep because we're on this hillside here a little bit. And I want the, uh, I want it to be able to kind of stick up a little bit where we can kind of fill down, fill down to it. I prefer to go up the hill a little bit farther. But the, uh, you can barely see it, but the fiber optic line, fiber optic line runs like right through there. So by the time we get our set back on our ditch and everything, to uh, be safe, we're gonna have to be down the down the hill here a little ways, but that's all right. It's still close enough to the edge of the driveway to where uh, they can get it filled with water pretty easy. I prefer to be using my other bucket right now, but I lost the dang tooth on it leveling up with this pad zap. I got Luke heading back to the shop to get me a Luke's heading back to the shop to get me a new. Uh, I got the tooth. I just need a keeper. So anyways, we'll get the uh, tooth back on that. But basically what we gotta do is dig this hole, let's just call it six by 11 by eight. And then we'll put uh, six inches of sand, six inches of fill sand in the bottom of it, which kind of gives it a cushion for that uh, tank to sit on. Then once we get the uh, cistern set in there, it'll come on a truck kind of got like a little gantry crane thingy off the back. I don't know, it's a goofy looking sucker. I'll uh, try to get some video of that. But once we get the uh, cistern set in there and then we'll uh, backfill it the rest of the way with fill sand. That's so all I want to try to dig this hole. Dig this hole somewhat relatively tight. So, um, um, so we're not using a whole lot of sand, but Basically what I'm doing now is, is just trying to get this hole started and I'm dumping this dirt over here to the side. I'm sitting on a hillside of this track -o. So I'll dump this dirt over here to the side and then whenever it comes time I can kick stand myself over and uh, I'll have something to sit on to uh, take out. I gotta take another pass out basically about right here. And it'll be a whole lot easier to do that if I'm squared up on it if that makes sense. That's why I'm putting the dirt over here. but. That's uh, that's kind of the plan. Then after we get the um, after we get the cistern set, we'll uh, dig a trench down and intersect that water line coming from that other uh, man. That is some gooey, gooey, gooey stuff. Uh, we'll intersect that water line going down to the well, which it is basically right there, if you can see. So once we get uh, once we get the cistern dug, we'll intersect this water line and we'll uh, dig a trench up through there and uh, tie into this 
tying to this new cistern. So notch this back so it don't fall in on somebody. There you go. That's kind of the thing. I'm going to go ahead and get this hole dug. I'll uh, check back in with you guys once we get down and start uh, putting some uh, sand in it. And then we'll uh, obviously get some uh, video of putting the, putting the sister and everything in. So. When it gets here, but it turned out pretty good. We didn't hit any rock. That was a, that was a good thing. We kind of got her stair step down there and got this side sloped back. So, should be good to rope. All right, guys, there is the hole before the cistern shows up. You can see we got our uh, six inches of sand down there all screened out, screened out, screeded out, and uh, level, good to roll. The uh, Tank's on its way. It's supposed to be here in about half an hour, 45 minutes. We'll get the video set in that. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get the small track O and see if we can, uh, it's like two miles down the road. Go get it, bring it back up here and uh, see if we can locate that uh, water line. So after we get this cistern set, we can get tied into that water system. Well, it looks like our cistern has arrived. Now we gotta find a way to get him up the hill. It could be interesting in itself. We're gonna try to back him in here. This old boy driving his truck, he's a pretty good old driver. But his driveway kind of snakes a little bit and I think the issue is gonna be right here. It's dried out enough. Hopefully he can uh, make that turn. It's real soft over here and his front tire is gonna drag into it. We'll uh, see what he's got on the way. Sorry about that wind, it's picked up here pretty good.
little hard on the landscaping, but I think we're going to make it. All right, guys, let me take just a second here to explain a few things. Um, I wasn't 100% comfortable with what was going on here, the way this truck was being unloaded, and you'll see me uh, voice my opinion from time to time. Um, I would prefer we'd pull the truck in straight and come down the hill towards it, but he wasn't comfortable doing that. He didn't want to be on that overdig there, so he chose to come in. At this side lane angle here, he felt like he had better, <clears throat> better support on his outriggers. His truck, uh, kind of his deal, so... I kind of just made sure me and Luke stood our distance and let him do his thing. If anybody was going to get hurt, it was going to be him. We uh, we didn't really get too close to the tank unless it was uh, right over the hole. We knew we were knew we were safe, but he got her in there, so that's the main thing. <laughs> How you look? Slab. What's, what's it the other way? Sweet. Sweet. I got work, bud. <laughs> Any little tool keeps you from yep. See if we can get out of here without taking out the tree. It's looking like a no. Looking like a definite no. I go fix and get hit with some nuts. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Oh, that's the tree. Yeah, we're gonna do down far over the hill. Can't clear that tree, so we're gonna try to pull them up. What do you think? That guy's crazy. I'm glad I got all my fingers and my toes and he's on the road out of here. But, check that out. This thing fits like a glove in the hole. It's like we actually knew what we were doing when we dug the hole, Luke. It's almost like it, yeah. So, we'll get our back filled with sand. Do a trench dug for the plumber. We're going to be done with this until the plumber gets done. So. Well, we're in upward to sand. All right, guys, just kind of a couple tricks here, some stuff to keep in mind. And this pretty much applies, I guess, if you are uh, backfilling any type of uh, tanker or anything uh, in the ground, I guess. But uh, especially with these things, they it's always a good idea not to, like, backfill one side all at one time. You kind of just want to start and work your way around it and kind of bring it up in lifts. Of course, the bigger the tank, uh, the bigger the deal is. I always like to backfill with sand or stone. This kind of gives you a little bit of a buffer, a cushion between the uh, ground. It kind of gives gives the place, it gives a gives it a place for stuff to move. I guess uh, the other thing is, especially like with these cisterns, it's always a good idea to have them backfilled before you fill them with water. Uh, it kind of helps take all the pressure off the walls and just kind of uh, like this company here, they won't even warranty them if you backfill them before you. Uh, but if you fill them before you backfill them is what I'm trying to say because it, it puts a lot of extra pressure on their sidewalls and they don't want a chance for uh, something to move. And this is actually a two-piece tank, so it's actually glued together halfway down and it puts a lot of extra strain on that, I believe. So basically we're just kind of going around this thing, getting it backfilled uh, up to the top and then obviously leaving the uh, access holes on both sides exposed. Uh, whenever I swing around here on the right-hand side, will be the where the pump and the wire will come into and then on the left hand sides where the fill will go then obviously the green riser is just uh, access to get down in there and either clean it or service your pump so that's pretty much the uh gist of what's going on here all right so after we got the tank set the plumber showed up 
And this well has got a brand new about $700 pump on the bottom of it that we had to pull out. This well is about 180 feet deep. So Rob's like, I got this strap. Why don't you go get the track hoe and we'll pull this well out of there. I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad. Let's just pull it up by hand. Boy, should I ever listen to Rob. It, uh, yeah, it just about killed me. Rob was laughing his butt off of me. About 40 feet up out of the ground, he was laughing at me like, you still think this is a good idea? And I finally gave in. Yeah, I finally get in. I'm like, Rob, mercy. Let's get the strap. He's like, oh, no. He goes, you started this by hand. We're going to finish it by hand. I think he was just trying to kill me. Here I am. I was like, I got to take a breather. Found me a Gatorade. Rob's just sitting there laughing at me. I'm like, all right, I'm over this. Let's get this stupid thing out of the ground. We were, we didn't know it at the time here. We were sitting here taking a breather. We were only like 20 feet away from being done. We finally get this stinking thing up out of the ground. Long story short, next time we go to do this, I'm gonna listen to the wise old man, Rob. And even if we got a bullet 10 or 15 feet of time with the track hoe, that's what we're gonna do, because that was miserable. All right, guys, here's the update. We got the well pulled. That, uh, yeah, Rob's like, use the excavator. And I'm like, oh, we got this. I ain't making that mistake again. I'm listening to Rob next time. Oh, it killed me pull 180 feet of well out of there. Oh, getting too old for this crap. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Our T plumbed it up there. We got to do a little bit of uh, electric work there. And then we got to get our pump set in the tank, but uh, we're getting there slowly. All right, let me give you guys an update while we're out here at the end of the day. We got our trench dug down to the... Uh, well, first off, we got the pump pulled. We got the trench dug down to the water line. We got the T in and the valve, or the T in the valve. Uh, we ran into a little more electrical than we were anticipating, so Luke's on his way to town to get that. And uh, we dug a hole down there next to the well to uh, cap off the line going to the well because we don't want the cistern to fall, fill in the well. All right, guys, we're back at the cistern, Dob. Je I can't speak. Job. Plumber's got all of his stuff done. Lines ran up in the cistern, pumps down the tank. Got the fill and the vent over there. So we are going to take uh, sand and uh, bed that pipe in and then get everything back and then cleaned up and we got the hole to clean up down there. But, uh, I think wind's still blowing, so. But anyways, I'm gonna get this pipe bedded in with a little bit of sand I got left up there and get this all backfilled and cleaned up and call it job complete. All right, guys, we're getting ready to call this one a wrap. This is what she looks like all finished up. There's the excess lid, there's the fill, there's the valve down there. Got the ditch put back in. This is sloped as good as I'm going to get it with the track out. Uh, we'll uh, let it rain, let it settle out, let them decide what they want to do with the yard. We may, may come back and tweak it a little bit later, but it's a... Uh, it's gonna serve its purpose for now. This old clay, nasty, sticky, bally stuff, but here's a look at it from the bottom, so she don't look too shabby. Looks like we're gonna beat the rain by the skin of our teeth, so I'm gonna get this thing loaded up before I get wet, head to the house, catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you just take a few seconds to hit that thumbs up button. If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button. If you want to make sure the first person to see the next video, tap the bell. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one.